Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the process of jury selection? The process of jury selection is a meticulous and important part of the judicial system, ensuring that a fair and impartial jury is assembled for a trial. Initial selection. The journey begins with the random selection of qualified citizens from various sources, including state voter lists, lists of licensed drivers, and sometimes other databases like phone books or state unemployment benefit records. These individuals are mailed a qualification questionnaire to determine their eligibility to serve as jurors. They must complete and return this questionnaire within a specified time frame, usually 10 days. Jury pool formation. Once the questionnaires are returned and reviewed, a pool of potential jurors known as the veneer is formed. From this pool, a group of about 100 prospective jurors is selected and summoned to the courtroom, reporting to the courtroom. When prospective jurors report to the courtroom, they are introduced to the key figures involved in the trial, including the judge, attorneys, court reporter, court clerk, and bailiff. The judge explains the rules and procedures for jury selection. The next stage is the voir dire process, where the judge and attorneys question the prospective jurors to assess their suitability to serve on the jury. This involves asking general and case-specific questions to determine if the jurors are free from bias or any other reason that might prevent them from being fair and impartial. Challenges. During voir dire, attorneys can challenge potential jurors for cause or use peremptory challenges. Challenges for cause are based on specific reasons why a juror might not be suitable, while peremptory challenges do not require a reason. The number of peremptory challenges is limited, typically 10 in criminal cases and six in civil cases. Oath and selection. Once the questioning is complete, the selected jurors take an oath to truthfully try the case based only on the evidence presented and the court's instructions. The process continues until 12 jurors and sometimes alternate jurors are accepted and sworn in. Death qualification. In capital cases where the death penalty is a possible sentence, the jury must be death qualified, meaning all jurors who categorically oppose the death penalty are removed to ensure the jury can consider this sentence if necessary. Finalizing the jury. The selected jurors are then seated and the trial can proceed. Alternate jurors may also be selected to replace any regular jurors who cannot continue their duties during the trial. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.